centres start to lose that sense of community role coming together, then actually we will lose the heart of the, the towns and the villages. And so that's why last year we commissioned Mary Portis, it's why as a government, as a department, we're determined to make sure that actually we look at the things that can make a difference. And I can't think of anything better than small businesses, new businesses actually <coughs> coming onto the high street and mixing with their own existing online operations in many cases to be able to trade directly with the public. And I think that's absolutely got to be the way forward. Hi, thank you very much. I'm um, Claire Lissenden with my brother Mark um, and another friend, Sriranga. We co-founded Arthur and Henry just six short months ago. So we're one of those 41,000 businesses that started this year. Um, and we do ethical menswear, organic, cotton and fair trade cotton mentions. And we've just sold two to the minister. I can't believe it. We've only been going for six months. Well, and we're we're sold. Yeah, yes. <laughs> um, and, and none of that would be possible without Pop Up Britain. It's the most amazing idea for us to be in a shop in Central London <coughs> and we launched online. And I can't quite believe we're here. It's fantastic. So thank you very much. So as of today, we're writing, as Eric has said, to, uh, to landlords across the country, to the British Property Federation, to encourage to, and challenge them to do as we have done. And we can now, both of us, look uh, uh, local authority, town hall leaders in the eye, and landlords in the eye, and say, come on, we've done it. You can do this on your high street, on your town street. <coughs> so I think this is a really great initiative. I'm keen to hear from other tenants here about what they're doing. Thank you to everyone for the initiative so far, uh, and I'm about to go and pay for my shirts. Yeah. <laughs> 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 